हेलो 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 एवरीवन लेट मी लेट मी जस्ट शेयर दिस लिंक इन टू आवर ग्रुप्स बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड hello hello people are joining in people are joining in let me share the link and we will get started till then you guys can mention in the chat from where you are from which part of india you are and if you have any questions you please you please write it in the uh, chat and i will answer them at the end of the session so let me share this link first also share this youtube link with all your friends who are interested to come to germany just a second give me like 2 minutes and we will get started hi dhawal hi avinash yes guys you write write in the questions and part time jobs yes i am going to discuss about this i am going to discuss about this no worries no worries this this session will be very interesting and informative so stay till the end and i will i'm sure you will get some good insights so so just a second yes people are joining in that's nice just give me like 60 seconds more maybe and we will get started yes okay so guys before we start today's uh, like today's agenda will be regarding the part time jobs regarding living in germany regarding your accommodation and uh, and so on so i will just give you some information first of all and then i will answer all your questions so basically first we'll talk generally why should you select germany as your study location the first and foremost very important thing is that germany is the fourth largest economy in the world and it is the first largest economy in entire euro it has the lowest unemployment rate okay so basically there are various job opportunities available and once you get your job uh, it is it is kind of like a permanent and fixed job uh, the company cannot remove you one of the most important thing is the healthcare facility here in germany so it has world class healthcare facilities and last but not the least the education uh here you get uh, the quality quality of the education here is like uh, throughout germany it is the same and it is world class also there is no tuition fees so you don't have to pay any tuition fees for public universities here in germany so guys for new students here uh, many of you have joined so my name is amir and i live here in germany uh, since 2019 i have completed my masters degree and currently working at dresden as project manage uh, as a project manager so quickly uh, i will take some of the faqs which are uh, like frequently asked to me so can i apply to germany if i have a low cgpa or maybe you have gaps in between your studies uh, is age uh, a concern while applying in germany or maybe uh, can you do multiple masters or is there any scope for a particular field so to answer this everybody of you can apply okay irrespective of your cgpa irrespective of your uh, like age irrespective of your gaps in between the years uh you all guys can apply for the universities okay guys those who have joined can you please share this link to uh, more students so that i can get maximum questions after the end of this session thanks for this so 
basically all of you guys can apply uh, in german universities there is no criteria as such uh, like only if you have good cgpa you can apply for german universities and you get admitted no it's not like that uh, it's it depends upon how well you write your sop how well you write your lor uh, how well you do your voluntary projects and stuff like that so it is dependent on all the uh, like all the factors all the factors are considered uh then regarding second thing regarding part time jobs okay uh many of you have also asked regarding part time jobs yes so talking about part time jobs there are part time jobs available here in germany i will talk about uh, like uh, the types of part time jobs here in germany first of all you can work in uh, hotels or restaurants uh, and you are paid around like uh, 11 euros the payment or the wages it depends upon the upon person like a person or maybe depends upon the hotel the locality and stuff like that so usually it is around 10 to 12 euros per hour okay guys please share this link share this link to uh, your friends or your groups who uh, or your college groups so that people can join in uh, so this is the average uh, average salary around like Uh, 12 euros you will say uh, which is per hour and if you work around like 20 hours per week which is as a student you can uh, work around 20 hours per week and you can make around 800 euros to 900 euros per month and your monthly expenses generally speaking it again depends upon your lifestyle your location your accommodation but generally speaking it is around like 600 to 650 euros so Uh, this is regarding the part time jobs now uh, if you like i if you consider my case i was working as a shop floor worker in arkan in lind chocolate factory you might have heard the uh, like lind chocolates so uh, there is a huge factory in arkan where they produce lind chocolates and i was working as a shop floor worker uh, the job it was very flexible and uh like i was paid around 10 and a half euros per hour so i not only i uh, you know covered up my all expenses here but i also saved around like 200 euros uh, at that time so yes this is regarding uh, part time jobs another type of part time job which you can do is uh, you can also do like there is there is a company called as uh, leafrando same as like uber eats in india wherein you can deliver groceries deliver food and uh, you can earn basically so guys please share this link with your friends as well so that they can join uh, also write your questions here write your all your questions here and i will be answering all the questions at the end of this session so yes going on uh, another type of part time job was Uh, you can enroll yourself or register yourself uh, on the websites various websites are there wherein you can go and there are home cleaning jobs as well so this is also one of the jobs you can do i will recommend personally that instead of applying to part time jobs you please start applying for internships and working students so this will boost your cv and experience as well rather than focusing on part time jobs okay this is what i personally think it is up to you but uh, this is this is quite about like part time jobs uh then apart from this the cost of living okay so talking about the cost of living in germany it is highly dependent upon uh, uh highly dependent on various factors so it is dependent upon your location it is dependent upon your accommodation it is dependent upon your lifestyle but generally speaking it is around 600 to 650 euros as i uh, mentioned earlier uh, i will buy forget these costs now the rent the rent is around 250 to 350 it depends upon the location but if you consider around 300 euros of rent uh, which is including everything uh, location and uh, like stuff like that so basically uh, talk about the uh, talking about the um, the location and thing like if you consider berlin it is it is a bit uh, expensive or frankfurt munich they are, they are expensive 
but if you consider for example arkan it is a bit cheaper so uh, groceries around 120 euros and there you have like some other miscellaneous expenses around 50 euros radio tax is around 80 18 euros and stuff like that so it is it comes around 600 uh, 650 euros per month so this is regarding uh, the cost of living it it really depends upon uh, how how you spend and all but you can easily cover up your monthly expenses here by doing either a part time job or an internship talking about internships uh, those are available on various websites like you can i will share i'm going to share and also save this live so you guys can rewatch it so basically the platform which i prefer mostly is uh, linkedin so linkedin is the best platform wherein you can apply for jobs apart from this there are jobs dedicated for uh, you know internships like uh, job menza mind practicum and stuff like that you can just check it and also there are uh, various other platforms like um, maybe like um, there there are there are various other uh, other jobs like i don't remember now but you can definitely check out like glass doors and stuff like that you can also check the uh, like the average salaries for your post if you are directly looking for jobs uh, here in germany but glass door is very good for checking out uh, salaries especially apart from applying for jobs so this is this is regarding uh, a bit for like mm, the part time jobs the full time jobs and staying in germany uh, if you guys really want to book a one on one call with me so that you, we can evaluate your profile you can just book one on one call in the link in the description or i have also pinned in uh, in chat so that you can book one on one call with me as well we also help in uh, like health insurances loans and all the all that good stuff i will also start now with uh, all the questions now so avinash pal avinash pal is asking i want to ask how can i get part time jobs in data science domain as i am doing my masters in the same okay so data science talking about this domain uh, to be honest with you this domain is really a booming domain here in germany so uh, maybe you can you can look Uh, in in cities like munich and berlin where you have good scope for this uh, so you can apply through linkedin basically because uh, you just type in uh, like data science engineer or maybe data scientist uh, or the role which you prefer and in the location section you can simply type in the city or the country and you will get all the jobs uh, and many companies they hire through linkedin so this is this is really a good platform i i, I highly recommend it also the good thing is that you know the contact person and you can approach them through uh, linkedin if you are using like linkedin premium so it becomes lot easier uh, apart from this as i said earlier you can uh, definitely check out uh, part time jobs on job menza job uh, Uh, like mind practicum or indeed and stuff like that i hope i answered this question so dhawal dhawal is asking i am from mumbai jai maharashtra and planning to study master of engineering in uh, mechatronics and robotics in okay applied is, is it a good choice okay so uh, dhawal to answer your question uh, to be honest with you it is not only about the university okay i will personally say that don't focus on university ranking or the qs ranking just focus on the course the course curriculum and what you want to do once you land up in germany so there is no no such thing like a bad university or a good university in germany uh, it really depends upon your course and how well you come here and experience how well you get your experiences for example uh, like internships your projects and stuff like that suggest uh, that there is not no like a good choice or bad choice you don't focus uh, on the university or the qs rankings just focus on your course and uh, the city is also important how well uh, how big the city is and how the opportunities are in that respective cities so yes 
i hope i answered this question if you uh, if you want me to guide in more personalized way you can surely book one on one call and i can answer all your questions and maybe evaluate your profile and suggest you some good uh, jobs as well okay minimum wage is 12 uh, 12 euros right uh, avinash actually it uh, depends upon the location and also germany because of inflation it uh, it fluctuates so if you if you say if you say uh, the blocked account also has increased to around like 11000 euros or 12000 euros so it it keeps on changing so yes 11 12 euros is uh, is what you can expect when you come here okay guys please i request you to share this link so that majority of people get uh, benefited from this i know this is like a growing channel and uh, like very few people are joining in so i can uh, answer your questions in more personalized way but i hope that you also share this with all your friends who are coming to germany do companies where uh, one does internships later get converted into permanent employment okay now well, this is a very good question and most frequently asked question okay so uh, to answer this it really depends upon many factors first of all uh, the company should have the position okay uh, the required position so that you can get converted from internship to full time job this is the first thing second most important thing is that uh, your performance okay how well you perform okay um, is it up to the company expectation or there are like few criteria wherein uh, you not meet their expect uh, like expectations you meet their expectations and you succeed their expectations so it really depends upon that as well third thing is that Uh, by the time you uh, also like you also get kind of like vibe uh, when you go to the company and whether they are offering full time positions in your domain so that but after 6 months is a good period for internship and you can also parallelly look for other jobs getting into a german company may it be internship or working student it is the most important thing okay after after that you can simply um, manage and get uh, to other companies as well so the ratio is around like 30% maybe uh, 30% of internships get converted into permanent job but it is not that frequent at least here in germany guys please subscribe to my channel as well and hit that like uh, like button if you like this uh, youtube live so that it gets promoted to more and more students uh, okay next question do the companies okay i have answered this what is better masters of engineering or master of science okay so to answer this it really depends upon the course uh, course curriculum and course structure and most importantly your interest okay uh, it is not like uh, masters of science is preferred more and masters of engineering or vice versa it is not like that uh, it really depends upon uh, upon the university the course and your interest uh for me personally uh, like my experience i have done masters of science and like the interviewers i thought that like i have studied from rwth akan university and i thought that they will consider and uh, my university as it is one of the uh, highly ranked universities but they never asked me about the university they asked me about my skills during my job interview they asked me about uh, what i have learned in the course the course curriculum and uh case studies and stuff like that so it really depends upon uh, your interest guys please share this link please share this link with uh, your friends so that they can also join in so that they can also join in uh, okay uh what is better i have answered this next is uh it is tough is it okay is it tough to get a data engineer job as a fresher in germany or after masters okay now i'll just generally talk about uh, work experience and fresher stuff okay uh, many universities they don't ask particularly for work experience but they uh, usually like they prefer work experience okay they prefer work experience also the companies they prefer work experience it is not mandatory but if i have work experience and uh, like my like my fellow mate or maybe my uh, the one who, with whom i am studying the same course he doesn't have work experience then i am like i am preferred 
by the companies so work experience is always a benefit but it's not the only criteria or uh, if you have some projects if you have done some internships if you uh, if your grades are good uh, and like the overall overall pro profile is considered but surely work experience is uh, like a good thing to have okay talking about like how tough it is get uh, how tough it is okay so to be honest you have to be consistent like i am not going to sound uh, super cheesy or stuff like that it is tough it is tough getting job in germany you have to be consistent you have to uh, like put in the efforts you have to put in the hours you have to focus on your german language we also help you in german language you can check out uh, the website in the description my top mate website Uh, also, I have pinned it in the website. We also help for German language classes as well. If you are interested, because you are coming into a new society, a new culture, a new country, so knowing the language is uh, very important, according to me. And if you have like B one, B two skill level, then getting a job becomes much more easier. Okay, guys, please share this link with uh, with your students so that they can also join. Also, check out our WhatsApp group so that you can join in our WhatsApp group as well. Okay. Uh, is in which visa categories? Okay, I was building students. Uh, is there any category for I was building students in India? So, uh, I like personally, I. i cannot answer this question because i don't know i have done my masters here but generally speaking you as house building is like a part of uh, like you also study and work if i am not wrong so you all you come on student visa and here you get a work permit so that you can also work here in germany i have heard that masters in germany generally don't get over in similar time and extended because of the master thesis is it true absolutely it is 100% true so and like it is very hard to believe like being an indian that it gets extended it is yes mostly 99.9% uh, cases it gets extended due to master thesis because you apply for internships you do one internship like 6 months take break from uh, learning and concentrate on your work experiences uh, also uh, you guys can also do some working student jobs or maybe if you want to travel it is very common that you take a semester off so it never gets completed most of the time uh, and master thesis also if you uh, decide to do it with the company then it gets extended because you have to find it online kalyani chogule is saying hi amir hi guys please join in the whatsapp group as well the link is in the description Uh, and you guys can book one on one call with me as so that i can answer you your questions evaluate your profile and uh, maybe suggest you some good courses okay avinash uh, i will be to germany in summer okay work student uh, so i want to have work student yes 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 so absolutely it is it is very important if you guys can start applying from uh, like when i when you are in india so that you make mistakes first and then the time is ready used when you come to germany you have already made the, those mistakes which you are going to make when are you when you are coming to germany so start applying for university dorms and student dorms and uh, the uh, the working students and internships as soon as possible you guys can manage uh, your studies with it no problem okay kalyani asking i have completed my uh, masters degree in german language that's great maybe you can also teach me german is there any chances of getting job in germany or is it mandatory to do a masters in germany thank you okay thank you first of all thank you for asking this question uh, to to be honest when you have like a degree in masters in german language it is it becomes relatively very easy to get a job you can directly apply from india but if you do a masters here it becomes more easy okay because you already have the work permit you uh, like you already have a german degree which is highly regarded okay if you do a degree from india it is not uh, like it doesn't have the same value as what 
uh, we have in Germany. If you do masters in Germany, it, it surely has a, has more value. So I will suggest that as you have already done your masters, you can parallelly start applying for universities as well, uh, or maybe you can start applying for di jobs directly. But as you have good German language, you have good chances. Guys, please share this link with uh, more students. Like uh, they want, uh, they want to get benefited so that they can ask questions and get benefited. Okay, if we don't get a job after masters from, for instance, in Germany, then is it easy to move to other uh, other Schengen countries and try for a job? Okay, so basically, to be honest, 99% of the cases, or maybe 95% of the cases, you get job. Yes, you have to struggle, you have to work hard, absolutely. But after your master's, you have a stay back period of one and a half years, okay? So one and a half years is quite a period, I will say, uh, to search for jobs. And you also can extend uh, your master's degree or master thesis and maybe start applying for jobs as soon as possible. But yes, you can surely explore other Schengen countries as well. Guys, please like this, like this video and share it, share the link with this, uh, like this link to all your friends who are interested to come to Germany. Also join our WhatsApp group and check out my uh, link, which I have pinned so that you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Okay. Which city is the cheapest and best to study in Germany? Uh, the cheapest and best city, I will say, according to my experience, is RWTH Aachen, the university, and Aachen is the city. So, yes, Aachen is comparatively the most, uh, or maybe the cheapest city, in one of the cheapest city in Germany. Okay, hope I have answered this question. Uh, regarding like my experience okay so uh, i've been here in germany since 2019 and i've completed my masters in 2021 after which i have been working here in dresden as a full-time uh, project manager i also have a community and we guide students for uh, doing masters in masters or maybe bachelors in Germany. You guys can check out my uh, website and if you are if you are interested, uh, we can evaluate your profile as well. Private university or public university? Okay, so RWTH Aachen is, uh, is a public university, but most of the, like it depends upon the course. There are paid courses as well and there are uh, like public university courses as well. So it really depends upon what course you're opting for. I will suggest that uh, if the course is interesting, don't look at the money because like people take the course which is free and maybe not that interesting. Uh, because it is free, they take and they are not interested to do that course and then it becomes really very difficult to get uh, a job in that domain. So I will suggest that uh, don't look uh, at the money, but the course should be really interesting. Where to find companies in our field that sponsor visas for? Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. So basically it is not like that. Okay, the, that the position is worldwide. So you can apply through like, like India or maybe any other country, but it really depends upon the company. And when they contact you, okay, if your profile is really interesting, they contact you and they arrange for your, or like visa and stuff like that. So maybe you can check out uh, big companies like uh, BMW, Audi, or maybe SAP, SAP. So those those kinds of companies, they can offer uh, you with visa and you can check on their uh, website or maybe through like LinkedIn uh, jobs, you can go through their website. Because when I was looking of masters in robotics, it was showing a huge amount for it. Uh, yes, as I said, as I said, most of the courses are like free, and some some courses are also paid. So uh, I will I will I will just make it uh, like more simpler for you. Basically, you guys, you don't come here if you are like if you want the free education. Okay, 
free education is just a buzzword and most of the guys they take like the free education and then they are unable to get job yes if the course is free uh, if the course is interesting if you like the course and if it is available free then you can opt for it but i will suggest that rather than focusing on free course or maybe free stuff i will suggest that the course should be interesting okay i hope guys please share this link with most of the uh, students who are uh, coming to germany so that they can also be uh, benefited please subscribe this channel uh, i also make videos about life in germany travel vlogs today only i have uh, posted one of the vlogs and i've visited the city of leipzig you guys can check it out i also book one on one call with me so that uh, i can Uh, we can have a chat in more personalized way and i can assist you uh, in shortlisting universities or maybe uh, short for jobs interview cv review uh, sop review and stuff like that i have done c1 level oh that's great that's great uh, i am doing digital marketing course and now i am fresher but i feel there uh, there is no place for freshers no it's not like that it's not like that okay like one of my uh, one of my friends who studied with me he was a fresher and he got he got job okay he got job like much earlier than i got or, or maybe like he was the earliest person to get a job even though he was fresher so it's not it's not like that if you are fresher you will not get a job but like having work experience is always a benefit and you have like c1 level of german so it is comparatively much easier for you to get a job guys please hit hit that like button if you are uh, if you find this you uh, like helpful or useful so that this get gets promoted to many people okay so are there any further questions I think so. I have answered all the questions. But you guys can join our WhatsApp group as well. The link is in the description, and share the WhatsApp link to all your friends so that many of the people can join in. Okay, Leo, Leo ten. Okay, Lionel Messi is asking: Is it necessary to learn German language to study in Germany, or we can study in English? Okay. uh to be honest the courses the master courses available here in germany mostly are in english language so it is not mandatory but for getting jobs it is always a benefit so that you get a preference if you guys are really interested in learning german language you can check out my topmate website i have uh, like i have pinned it in the comments and you can enquire for our german language classes as well we we help you in uh, learning german as well which cities from india should be targeted more for jobs uh, so that get quick response okay uh, it is not about getting a quick response uh, it is about uh, like because if you get a quick quick response and they reject you it's it's of no use so basically companies usually take uh, around like one month of time to assess the application okay so the good cities if you are into startups you can surely go uh, like berlin cities like berlin munich if you are into big companies if you want to go in big companies you can explore like stuttgart for automobile hub or maybe munich also has big companies dresden has big companies uh if you are into pharma sector you can go to cologne the cologne is the pharmaceutical hub with many pharma companies uh you can go to bonn for mid sized companies so it really depends upon um uh, which company which sector and how big company you are targeting okay i want to study bachelors in germany okay so you uh, if you want to study a bachelors in germany you can surely check out our uh, website we guide for bachelors as well so uh absolutely you can uh maybe drop me a query and we can guide you in a more personalized way guys please i suggest you guys to 
uh, just share this link to more and more people who are uh, interested to come to Germany so that I can answer their questions. Are there any further questions? Okay, so many of you guys have been asking me questions over WhatsApp and let me check some of the questions you guys. Okay, I have a low CGPA around 6.5. Okay, can I apply? Yes, surely guys, if you have a low CGPA, you can surely apply for uh, universities. As, as I said earlier, German universities not only consider your marks or CGPA in particular, but also consider your projects, your SOP, your LOR, your letter of recommendation, statement of purpose, your letter of motivation, uh, your transcripts, your work experience, your German language, everything is considered. So it's not only about marks. Okay. Okay. I am 50 years of age. Can I apply in Germany? Yes, surely you can apply in Germany if you if you have like like 40 years, maybe 50 years. It's not about age. You can surely apply for universities. But I guess for getting DOMS, okay, it is a bit difficult. For getting DOMS, you have, there is some age criteria. But there are always private accommodations available. Which is expensive, civil or IT in bachelors regarding financial? So uh, for bachelors, most of the courses are... Uh, free, I will say, there is no tuition fees uh, for public universities. So you have to pay around like 300 euros, which is the semester contribution, wherein you get your travel pass, okay, wherein you get your travel pass as well as uh, like the, uh, your candidature is maintained in the system. So this is like 300 euros per semester. So, but if you, if you are asking me with respect to jobs or jobs uh, perspective, then I will say that IT is a booming sector here in Germany. Okay, one guy is asking, how can I get started? So to, in order to get started, just visit my website and we, uh, we offer uh, your personalized assistance as well. So you guys can check out our website. We guide you step by step in each and everything. Uh, there is, if if there is no separate section for bachelors, you can just send us like a query for bachelors as well, and we can cater that as well. So no problem. When is the okay? When is the best time to apply? Okay, so basically there are two things. Okay, there are two things which uh, which you should consider. There are two intakes which are the. Uh, winter intake and second is the uh, summer intake. So winter intake, it starts from, usually it starts from October. So you have to start at least one year, okay? At least one year before you are planning to go to Germany. Why one year? Because you have to come up with at least 10 courses as per your course requirements, as per your uh, interest, as per your uh, profile. And so shortlisting 10 courses takes a lot of time. So you have to start at least one year before coming to Germany. This is the ideal time. Okay, Aman. Aman is asking if you have little knowledge about house building, then please share. A block account is required for house building. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely, blocked account is required for each and everything when you come to Germany. Uh, because it is, it is, it is the safe thing. Uh, it is the, like it is like a security which you keep here to sponsor yourself in Germany. Just quickly, I will look if house building is required, like blocked account is required for house building. Give me a second. For house building. Uh, let me check because. Is house building? Do I need to account for house building in Germany? Okay, so yes, as per Google, it is saying that there is no no requirement for house building. Uh, maybe because you will be doing like an internship or and you will be provided with a stipend. So yes, according to like I researched about it, and there is no need for house building. Uh, so there is no need for blocked account for house building. I hope I answered your question. Let me. Take some more questions. Mm. 
Okay, so how secured is German job? To be honest, once there is like once you are once you get a job, there is a probation period wherein uh, the companies evaluate your performance, or you also get accustomed to the company. Okay, uh, whether uh, the company is liking you, or maybe you are liking the company, so there is like a probation period uh, for six months. After which the job is permanent and. uh german companies cannot uh, fire you because uh unless and until you do something wrong so they are if if you are not good in performance they have to give you several warnings before firing you but they just can't directly fire you okay another question is part time jobs yes i i i i think so i have given enough idea about part time jobs Mm, placements okay so there is one more question one more important question uh, does universities they assist you in placements okay so unfortunately here in germany uh, like universities don't or uh, like assist you in getting jobs or maybe there are no placement drives yes they guide you they guide you basically for uh, maybe evaluating your cv or maybe your cover letter and stuff like that but companies they don't directly come or visit universities as you have in india so you have to put in your efforts you have to uh, do all stuff by yourself but surely there are like job fests there are job uh, like job careers uh, job fairs and stuff like that so wherein you can get in touch with the uh, with people they have like huge networks so yes it is it is organized uh, in uh, germany so another question mm -hmm -hmm. german language classes do you provide yes we we provide you german language classes as well so you guys can check out on my website and we uh, there are like flexible german language classes available that is flexible according to your requirements so uh, we we teach you in groups we teach you in personalized ways and uh, stuff like that you can check it out on my website i have pinned here i have pinned here so you can book a call with me or maybe avail uh, many other uh, benefits like german language loans and stuff like that okay pr so you get okay so pr is like the permanent residency you get permanent residency after uh, like 21 months and b1 level uh, proficiency and if you don't have b1 level proficiency you get the permanent residency after uh, 33 months of paying taxes so you get a full time job and if you do like have a b1 then you get around 21 or 22 months you get a permanent residency it is quite uh, simple Mm, can I take more questions? IELTS GRE. Okay, this is also one of the frequently asked questions. Is IELTS mandatory or GRE mandatory? So, guys, to answer this question, I will say that uh, it is not about IELTS or GRE. It's first, firstly, you have to shortlist uh, universities. At least come up with ten courses of your interest, and as per the course requirements. you please start preparing for your documents like if you want to give ielts whether it is mentioned in the 10 courses you have shortlisted uh whether gre is mentioned gmat is mentioned it really depends upon the university here germany is like a decentralized country every university has its own requirements so it really depends okay uh bro i had internet issue can you answer my query again so please can you ask me the query actually uh, once again i can answer you here no problem internet internet issue here also in germany so bro i had internet issue okay please you can answer you can answer uh, you can ask me the query i can answer it one more time don't worry guys please like this please like this uh, youtube live if you are finding this uh, informative if you are finding this useful and if you want to book one on one call with me please book on my website so you guys can check out my website 
and I can guide you in a more personalized way. So I will be sending this one more time. Okay. Uh, Avinash, you can, you can ask me question. No problem. One more time. Till then, I can also take one more time. So basically, uh, to summarize, like we offer you uh, German languages at uh, like at your convenience uh, in more personalized way uh, in groups and stuff like that. Uh, we also give we also help you prepare for exams. We also have uh, speaking courses and customized courses for you as well. We help you in uh, health insurances, blocked account, education loan, and stuff like that. You can just visit our website and get avail all the benefits there. Okay, so is there any other questions? We have like around uh, 10 minutes more. You guys can share this link. You guys can share this link to all your friends who want to come to Germany. Also, please don't forget to join our WhatsApp group wherein you get insights about living in Germany, studying in Germany and part-time jobs and stuff like that. So please join our WhatsApp group as well. Okay, maybe I can search for more questions like my WhatsApp is completely messed. So uh, I have to look for the questions. Many of you guys have been messaging me. So we have a huge community of like uh, maybe 30 odd groups who are who, who are interested to come to Germany. So you can join that community as well. Uh, regarding loans. Okay, I have low credit score, civil score. Okay, to be honest, uh, I'm not that familiar, but I have like a contact who can surely help you in getting loans if you have uh, like some issues with the co-applicant or maybe uh, your credit score is low and stuff like that. Uh, please go to uh, my website and you can surely ask a query about education loans and I can definitely help you in that. So to be uh, like around 23 people, around 23 people joined this uh, live. Uh, this is the highest number of people who have uh, attended uh, my live till now. Thank you for it. And please guys subscribe to this channel so that uh, you get information about living in Germany, travel vlogs and all that good stuff. Okay, if you guys don't have any further questions. Okay, yes, yes, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so Ravi, Ravi has booked one call with me. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, you guys also, if you want to book a call with me, please uh, book a call on my website. I've pinned it here so that you guys can book one on one call with me. You guys can also ask me queries if you want. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I think so. You guys don't have any further questions. Okay, please write it in the uh, chat. What is the most suitable time for you guys to attend my next YouTube live if you have questions? So what is what is the most convenient time for you? Is this is this to, uh, like is this convenient like 4 p.m. IST or should I change my time? And is like Saturday or Sunday, which which day suits you? Please let me know in the comments. So that uh, maximum of you guys can attend it. Okay, this time is good. This time is good. Okay. That's nice. Okay, so we will be continuing with this uh, with this time. Or maybe I can circulate one message on the groups so that I can get maximum response. Data science 
का ऊपर वाला हाउ टू फाइंड डेटा साइंस वर्क स्टूडेंट जॉब्स आई एम कमिंग ओके सो डेटा साइंस वर्क स्टूडेंट जॉब्स अविनाश आई विल से यू प्लीज अप्लाई थ्रू लिंकड इन ओके लिंकड इन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ट्रस्टेड थिंग एंड येस येस आई एम आई एम आंसर इन द क्वेश्चन सो लिंकड इन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट लाइक मोस्ट यूज प्लेटफॉर्म्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू कैन गो टू रिस्पेक्टिव कंपनी वेबसाइट्स बट आई विल नॉट सजेस्ट यू दैट बट लिंकड इन इज रियली अ वेरी गुड प्लेटफॉर्म सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम लिंकड इन आई विल से ग्लास डोर is uh, a good platform job menza is a good platform uh, uh you can also maybe job uh, there is there is one more thing uh there is there is one video which i have made so like the the video regarding part time jobs i will uh, i will i will drop all the links here maybe just just a second Mm, I have all the links there so that you can just check my check out all the links. I will just give you just a second. YouTube, my channel, live. part time jobs and all the links list of all the links so company website you can check out this video and i have listed all the links in the description and i have explained all things regarding part time jobs and can can anyone else ask him to answer my me bro i have answered the question you can check out this video and links already i have told so maybe this is helpful for you we also help you in getting part time jobs in evaluating your profile cv and everything so uh, i will say that please uh, you can book one on one call with me so that uh, i can also assist you in getting part time jobs okay so any other questions oh okay if you guys don't have any further questions i will uh, avinash for you especially uh, i'll save this live and uh, i have answered uh, your question so don't worry uh, you can also check out this uh, youtube video as well so yes i'm going to save this live as well so that you can rewatch it so hopefully guys please like this video please subscribe to my channel please book one on one call with me so that uh, i can guide you better and see you in the next live hopefully on saturday or sunday till then bye bye